So turn your hood the right way out, pop the lining inside, and then we're going to grab our cord. And what we want is the cord to run on the inside between the pink and the blue, right up close to this seam. So we're just going to pop it in and out the other side. And all I'm going to do is roll my seam till the cord's flat inside it and then get some clips just to hold that back and I do that all the way around the hood so when you get to the other end let's imagine we've pieced it all you want to get the raw end of the cord and you want to pop it out from the inside to the outside of your hood through the buttonhole on both sides. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop it under our machine like this and we're going to make a channel to hold the lining to the fuchsia and the cord is going to be in the edge here. I'm just going to increase my stitch length a bit. You can pop your hands inside to make sure where your cord is if you haven't clipped. I can feel it. <laughs> Should have clipped it. Right. So we're just making a channel and that cord's going to sit inside. So we're going from one side to the other of the hood. So go all the way around. I'm going to cut mine short just to show you what to do with the toggles. So when your cord is encased in your channel, what you want to do is you may need to just neaten off the end of your cord, stop it unraveling a little bit. You're going to thread it through the thin end of the toggle, like that. Tie an overhand knot there. Okay, and bring the toggle back onto the knot. Now what you can do is just trim the end of that cord, that went flying. So we do that both ends. 